Welcome back. So welcome to a um, progression daily video. Uh, I decided to upgrade my gems today because I haven't done that in, in quite a while. And I thought it, that would always be fun because I don't raise a lot of monsters anymore. I basically, a lot of my progression is tr trying to get better gems for the current monsters that I have. Um, I spent a while doing Golden Speed 10 some, sometime like two weeks ago. Um, and recently as well just to get get a few gems, but it is very very hard to get any <laughs> any gems that are better than my current ones um, Basically, I've been I've been selling most of my gems um, haven't really sorted through a lot of them So that's what we're gonna be doing today and it eventually gets to the point where you need to you need to upgrade your gems to find out if they're actually good because you know they could actually come out as like a really good gem, but you you don't know until you upgrade them. Like for for example, um, this one's decent. That, that one's not too good. Um, yeah, some of these aren't aren't like super super good. But usually like attack with crit rate, I would I would usually try to keep. Um, this one has resist. This one has some crit rate. So this was actually pretty decent. Um, but a lot of times, you know, you might get gems with like three substats, and they might not have the exact same or the exact stats that you want. And you might need to upgrade it to plus three to see if the fourth substat that it spawns is good. Um, and you know, basically, a three-star gem has the potential. It doesn't have the potential to be as good as a four-star, like a four, not not a three-star gem, a three substat gem. Um, might not have the potential to be as good as a four substat gem, but if that four substat gem, you know, like messes up once in one of its roles, it basically becomes as good as a three substat gem. So, um, you know, it, it can, unless the four substat gem has like a perfect role, the three substat gem has the potential to catch up, basically. Um, so a lot of times I have to re-roll my gems to see if they're they actually come out as as good ones. Um, and I've been asked before, which like how to how do I sort my gems? How do I keep keep my gems? And it kind of changes because it basically when my gem quality gets better and better and better, um, I get more and more strict about my gems, and a lot of them really just get sold right off the bat. Okay, so this is a defense gem with crit rate, attack, and crit damage. Now the attack usually isn't that good um, because ruin gems, if I ever do actually use them. Usually I would like a defense ruin gem if I actually do use them um, Most likely is going to be put on a on an aggressor and if it doesn't have a resist uh, Resist substat then that that aggressor isn't going to do too well because it's just going to get CC'd and armor broken and all all types of crazy shit like there, there's tons of crazy shit right now Like it's going to get like exposed weakness or some shit like that, and it's just going to die instantly um so instead, I'm going to upgrade the gem and see if it gives me resist. And if it does not give me resist, then it is not useful. It is not useful. So yeah, I'm gonna have to sell it. Mm-hmm. Seems about right. All right. So this is a defense gem. Uh, it's a valor gem because it has defense, HP, and attack, which is actually really, really good for almost any monster that you want to build like bruisery and stuff um, because they they need all these substats and um, basically I'm hoping that it doesn't roll into the flat attack um, if it gives me more attack more resist more HP then it's all good usually I would put this on a Titan monster or yeah like it, I think oh yeah yeah a Titan's monster because um, I, I don't really use bruisers in PvP most of my um, stuff that I use are usually aggressors in PvP right now, and that's basically what everybody's using. In like that's that's the meta right now. So um, I'm gonna try to upgrade this and see if it gives me any good substats. If it does, I'll put it in a a Titan spawn. All right, give me the percent attack. That's pretty good. I'm trying to get it to plus nine. Um, if it rolls into flat attack, I'm not sure if I really want to keep it. Um, but maybe the plus nine, like roll, can give me like nine resist or something like that. Then this gem could still be pretty good, even if it rolls once into the the flat attack. But hopefully it doesn't. Okay, rolled once into the flat attack. Um, it is still a four substat gem. So we'll see what happens on the plus nine. If it gives me a high roll on resist, or maybe a high roll on HP, then this is still a still a decent gem to, to put on um, 
on Titan's Bonds. So I might have some other gems with higher resist. I can boost their resist like near max max resist still. Come on, give me that resist. You gotta be kidding me. Why is it stuck at the plus nine? If it rolls again into the flat, I'm I'm selling it. Like I'm 100% selling it. Or if it gives me like a 4% roll on HP, then I I give up. All right, give me a what was that? Like a 6% roll on attack. I think it's all right. It's not too good. Um, I'll hold on to it for a bit, and then you know if if. If it's good, I'll keep it. This one is not too good. This one just, it's just kind of there. I didn't, I didn't sell it yet. Um, this one is an attack gem. Attack intuition gem with crit rate. Now, I kept this gem because um, I was afraid maybe some monster that I want to build with 100% crit might not have um, a square slot or something like that. So I was thinking maybe I could possibly um, boost a monster's crit rate to 100% using an intuition set. And really, really high crit rate sub stat. So that's what I'm, I'm hoping for with this gym. It's not every day you get a triangle attack gym with four sub stats and one of them being crit. So I, I decided to try to level it up. Uh, give me crit damage. Not the best. If the plus six does not give me crit, then I'm gonna have to sell this because um, at most it'll, it can only roll two more times into crit, and it's highly unlikely for it to do that. And the other two substats are just pretty useless. Flat HP is decent, but flat recovery is like the worst thing ever. All right, rolled once into crit. Um, this 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 gem could be good. This gem could actually be good because it already has fourteen percent crit. If it rolls one more time, I could also use it on another monster um, with a crit rate and then an intuition set. And the other gem doesn't even need to, need to have crit, and it can still get 100% crit, so... I think this gem will be somewhat useful. It's not a top tier gem, but it's a it's a pretty useful gem. Um, makes building certain monsters a lot easier. I don't know why they won't... <laughs> it won't go up on a plus 8. Did they nerf the upgrade rates? Please don't do that. Now this isn't the day where I upgrade all my gems to plus 15. Um, I usually do that on the day where, where they um, give us a discount. But usually I can do this whenever. Um, because I'm not doing like mass upgrades. I'm basically just upgrading them to like plus 9 to at, at most to see if the gem is good. Ooh, that's a 21.5 intuition attack gem. Okay, that gem's pretty good. That gem's quite useful. I'm gonna keep that. Maybe the plus 12 will give me crit, but even if it doesn't, it's still it's still good. Um, I'll upgrade that sometime during my own time as well. This one's a crit rate gem. Um, it has resist and crit damage. I was hoping to see what the fourth substat would be. Maybe it's like attack. If it's attack, it's gonna be pretty good. Um, I have quite a lot of crit rate, res crit rate um, ruin gems already. So this isn't gonna be like super, super useful, but I'm going to try to get it to plus 6. If it rolls into um, crit damage or something, it might still be pretty good. But it's only 4%, so it's it's a little bit low. Okay, that's, that's, that's a no. Alright, so this is, a, this is a defense gem that gave me one more roll in crit rate. I was thinking of putting this on like my Dark Thor, so I can just put him on a um, 3... Uh, yeah, just on a, like a triple, uh, like an actual intuition set instead of a broken set. And then I can use this broken set gems for some other monster to boost their crit rate up a little bit higher. Um, this is pretty straightforward. It was a four substat gem. I rolled once, it rolled into crit. The other three substats are absolutely horrible. But it did roll once into crit, so I was like, um, might as well keep it and see, see what happens. And this one... Pretty much, uh, I have to get two rolls into crit, or else it's not useful. 
but the chance of that happening is actually quite low. Um, Rolling to flat HP, which is still not the worst thing ever. I'm not sure what I will do if the uh, the plus nine doesn't go into crit. So I don't know if I want to take the plus 12 to try. It's just a defense gem for a very specific use. Um, I'll probably come across a better one sometime in the future. And I don't need it immediately. So if the plus 9 doesn't go into crit, I'm probably just going to sell this. That is unfortunate. Better lock this one. Alright, so this is an attack gem, um, it's an attack intuition gem, I was hoping the 4th substack could spawn crit, but if it, even if it does, it's not that good. Um, but I think the only reason I would ever keep this is the, if the 4th one spawns crit. I just saw attack, 3 substat, and I was like, uh, might as well try, right? It's only plus 3, and then see if it gives me crit rate. Nope. Okay, so this is a Conviction Gem. Now, usually Conviction Gems, the only thing I really look for is if it gives me resist. Um, as a bonus, I want any sort of HP and defense substats. If it's, if it's a defense gem, I want the HP substat. So, I actually have quite a few of these, especially square ones. I have a lot of them. Um, so, I'm kind of hoping for an HP sub. But I might take this to plus 6 if it gives me something else. Possibly, if it gives me like an attack. Um, crit rate could also be decent. I'm going to... Just test it out. If it gives me another flat substat, I'm probably just going to sell it. Not probably. I'm definitely going to sell it. Okay, that that was not a flat substat, but that is just as bad. Um, <laughs> please, please fix recovery. <laughs> please fix recovery. You know, you know what I really think they should do for recovery. You know, recovery is like the a really, really shitty substat. Like it. Or shitty stat. It just it doesn't really do anything besides giving your healers heal, and that's not even like a hundred percent important. So, um, I was hoping you know maybe like change recovery to have like a double use, something that attackers and tanks could also use as well. I was thinking like, I don't know, like like mastery or something, just make it like. Healers heal more. Attackers uh, have a higher chance to land their debuffs. Some some shit like that. That actually might be pretty cool. Um, but anyways, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go back to that. I like. I just suddenly had that thought. Okay, so this is an attack uh, Valor gem. It does have. A defense uh, recovery is kind of bad, so it has two bad substats. But we'll roll it to plus three, see if it gives the crit. If it gives, because I don't have too many triangle attack gems, so I was thinking maybe maybe it could give me crit. Um, if it gives me crit, then I might try it. If it doesn't, then you have to kind of sell it. This one um, was an attack. It has attack resist. It was a it was a three substat gem. Um, the fourth spawn recovery. I. Oh, it's a protection set. Actually, it's actually it's not it's not that good. Um, this one, defense crit rate. So this is kind of like that gem I had before, where I wanted the crit rate to to go high. Um, but this one actually has one more useful substat, which is the HP. So we're gonna see if we can get three rolls into crit. Oh, it has an attack roll as well, so that's actually quite good has the three useful substats that I need for for a dragon's monster. Hopefully it rolls into crit and oh nice 13%. I think I just I just need one more roll basically. If I can get one more roll into it, the other one doesn't need a substat. This is actually a much better gem than the other one because it has an attack substat instead of some flat HP. Come on, give me that, give me that crit. If it rolls into attack, I might just try it until it's plus 12. Because it has the potential to be a really good gem. It 
It's only a defense one, so it's not that good. If it was an attack one with like a defense roll, went to the HP, which isn't too bad actually. Um, guess I'll keep it for now. I'll upgrade it to plus twelve some other time. So just so it won't take too long. Okay, so this is a ruin gem. Um, it had resist. It had crit damage, but it had no crit rate. So I'm. I wasn't sure, but it actually has a really, really, like, it has pretty good substats for a broken set gem. This is a gem that I wouldn't really put on a set. I would just kind of use it as a broken set. Um, because it has HP, resist, and defense, and a flat and flat HP. So you could put this on a on an HP aggressor or a healer that heals based on its its own HP. Um, something like I was using before, like the Dark July or something. Um... Try to boost that HP pool as high as possible. But we'll roll it to plus 6. If it gives me... Because um, the crit damage isn't really useful. If it just rolls into the crit damage, it's not too good. It rolled into the resist. So this, this actually is a could be a decent broken set gem. Although I don't use broken set that much right now. I try not to. So I usually sell the other gems. The ones that don't have a set. Um, but sometimes you do come across stuff like this. And it has it has pretty high potential. So we'll see if it rolls one more time into resist. And get a 20 something resist substat gem. Which will which will be pretty decent for like some Titan spawn or something like that. Oh, nice! That's twenty three. So that's that's actually pretty good. Okay, so this is a gem. This is a really really high potential gem. It is an attack ruin gem with with uh, crit rate and crit damage. Um, it has one also pretty useful substat, the defense percent, on a max roll as well. So that's actually pretty good. 7.5 I think is the highest for defense. Hopefully it gives me crit and a lot of it. Oh nice, there we go. That's 14%. This is the type of gem that can actually get, get me a significant upgrade in one of my monsters if it rolls well. But I can only hope, right? I can only hope. Is it time for the gem gasm moment? Oh, I went to the flat HP, but I still gotta keep trying. This is a gem I would try all the way to plus 12 to see if it can roll one more time into the crit rate. Even if the plus 9 is really bad. Because if it just rolls once in the crit rate, that's an, that's an upgrade. Please, please, please. Okay, give me crit damage. Sometimes I feel like if I click it, it has a higher chance to roll into the crit. Like if I click it, it has a higher chance to roll into the subs that I want to roll. But um, that's just superstition. It's just pure RNG. All right, moment of truth, guys. Moment of truth. The plus twelve. Oh man, this this gem has like so much potential. It has the potential to to make a pretty big upgrade in one of my like important monsters. Rip. But it's still an okay gem. I might keep it. Maybe some monster might need it because it does actually have crit. So. Sad, sad day. Um, this is a ruin gem with, with HP. It has resist, attack, defense. It has the three like useful substats. The fourth one hopefully it spawns crit rate, and this will be like a pretty perfect gem. Um, if it spawns crit rate, then I, I will actually want most of it to roll into crit rate or resist. 
Okay, spawn recovery. Hmm. See, we'll, we'll take a look and see if the plus 6, plus 9 rolls into resist. If it does, this can still be a pretty good gem. Like, sometimes it's actually okay. If you're gonna use a set that's like pretty much a broken set anyways, and you have not three ruin gems, you just put them together. And if that monster does actually crit, although you didn't boost its crit rate, um, it might, you know, it might, it might hit for more. Roll twice into recovery, I'm sad. Alright, so this is an attack gem. Um, I upgraded no matter what, because attack siphon is always useful. Um, a leech gem, this is from dragons. It, usually what I do is I see if it has resist or, or crit. Um, whoops, I accidentally sold it. Sorry, that, that one, that one kind of sucked. That one didn't have resist as one of the main stats. But this one does. That was, uh, it was like, it was like muscle memory, basically. I was thinking, if it doesn't, I would sell it, and then the moment I thought sell it, I just, my, my hand started moving. And then, um, it sold it. <laughs> like, I wasn't even thinking, it was just muscle memory, it was like, click, click. Done. It's alright, it wasn't a good gem. Come on, give me the crit. Oh, shit. This is an attack with HP resist. It's not that good actually, it's, it's kind of bad, it didn't give me anything good. Um, okay, crit rate, siphon I always keep. Attack siphon, I should actually lock these two, I always keep. Um, these are from a while ago, I just never really got around to upgrading them. These are pretty much all from dragons, I just kind of kept them. And I never, never really upgraded or, or touched them yet. Um, this one is a defense protection gem. It has four substats, three of them being... Well, actually, if I'm using this on an aggressor, attack is also completely useless. But it does have a perfect plus nine roll. So, you know, I'm, I might... Um, I'm shooting for the moon here. I'm trying to... Trying to get that resist up as high as possible. Okay, that's that's it's not working. It went to the flat recovery. If the plus six doesn't roll into resist, I, I give up because it's only as good as a plus as a two substat gem at that point. Right now, it's as good as a three substat gem because it rolled into the completely useless recovery, and it's gone. Okay, so this this one is a ruin um, as HP defense. It's kind of the same boat as the other few ruin sets I had. It just it ruins really hard to use because it has such a high requirement, but it's actually the I would say like if you have like a good ruin set, that's like the highest tier. Um, you know, excluding the dragon gems for, for a lot of your monsters. Okay, this one has defense, resist, and attack. It's actually decent. It's not too bad. I can actually use this on a broken set. Actually I don't use broken sets. I just put like a three three ruin gems in and hope that maybe sometimes it crits. That, that's kind of what happens. All right, roll into the defense. It's actually it's actually decent. As long as it doesn't roll into the flat defense, we're, we're pretty good. Um, I'm hoping the plus nine goes into resist. If the plus nine goes into the flat defense, I might actually just sell it, because at that point, I don't want to try at the plus 12, and you know, if the plus 12 rolls into defense again, it's kind of shitty. All right, moment of truth. What's it gonna be? Give me that resist. It is a very low roll on resist though, only 6%. Resist can go up to nine on substats. Um, but yeah, and a lot of other stats can only go to 7.5 as the max. That's why you want to use resist on your substats instead and not use a main stat resist gem because you can actually get higher like overall stats if you do that. It's a little bit unbalanced, but it's just the way it is. Ooh, it's a plus 19 defense. It's actually, it's actually not too bad. 
So it's a defense one. It has crit rate resist. Um, crit rate re it has a max roll crit rate, lowest roll resist. We'll see if it can spawn in HP. If it gives me another flat substat, um, I'll take it to plus six, but I'll only keep it if it rolls into crit. If it rolls into resist, it's not really worth using. There's like other better gems. But because it is a ruined gem, I do need the, the crit rate roll. And since it has one resist, um, it can be a little bit decent for aggressors. Nope. Time to go. Alright, this is another leash gem. It has crit rate defense. It's an attack gem. Hopefully it gives me resist on the other substat. Um, I have a lot of these now, so I don't. I can be a little bit more strict. I don't need to need to keep all of them. Um, I used to keep all of them, but now nowadays it's just unless they have good substats, I usually sell. Let's see if it can roll into one of these. If it rolls into one of the flat ones on plus six, then it's gone. Because I don't want to bother wasting gold trying for a gem that is already kind of ruined. Nope. Alright, this is an HP Siphon gem, it has resist, attack, um, pretty much keep. This is a protection gem, um, with HP as the main stat, it has resist, it also has defense and crit rate. It only has one useless substat, the plus flat, the flat 60 defense, but hopefully, hopefully it gives me crit or, or resist. It could also give me defense, it's actually not too bad if it does. But I will actually need a few rolls into resist because I actually have a lot of these, like four substat, HP, or defense, protection, and life gems. And the problem with them is they don't have very, very high resist. And because they're not, oh, whoops, it's uh, it's already bad now. Because they don't have, um, they don't have like unlike unlike conviction gems, they don't have that base twenty resist. The resist rolls on these gems need to be so much higher for them to be worth it. But if they do have the really high resist roll, um, they can outscale the conviction gems. But it's very, very hard to get those because you have to be pretty lucky. Okay, so this is a pugilist gem. I'm trying to, it has 8% resist, which is why I kept it. it I don't have a lot of lot of pugilist gems that have um, resist, although it's an attack gem, it's not a def defensive one. Um, but usually because of, because of how strong pugilist is, I usually try them. And even if they don't have the most optimal substats, I might still consider using. Let's see if the plus six can give me some resist. Thinking about pugilists is like it's so hard to even just get one resist on them because of how rare they are. I'm willing to invest a lot into trying it out. This one's kind of bad now, but I, I can't like I can't bring myself to sell it because it's, it's a pugilist. So I'll just uh, I'll just keep it there. It's probably never going to be touched, but it just I I can't I can't bring myself to sell a pugilist gem that has like eight percent resist because some of my pugilist gems have like zero resist. Um, <laughs> so many monsters need pugilist. Well, not, they don't need it. Actually, no, a lot of monsters need it to actually even be viable. Um, conviction with resist and defense. This is pretty straightforward. Pretty much you want to stack that resist. If it goes into resist and defense, it's also good. If it rolls into one of the flat ones, it's still usable because of how, uh, how much resist conviction gives already. It went to plus 14, but it was a very, very low roll, I think. Can't remember what it was before. I think it was like plus 7, maybe, or plus 8. If it was plus 8, it was a plus 6 roll, which is like the lowest roll. We'll see if it can go into resist again. Okay, it went to the defense. This is looking good so far. Um... I'm probably going to use this already, like it, I might just put this on a random monster, um, because of how easy it is to use conviction gems, I just kind of keep them. It's another attack pugilist gem, it has 9% resist, so we're gonna, we're gonna see what the, what the pl plus 3 gives us, 
the fourth substat. Hopefully it's a uh, crit. Okay, it's flat HP, which is actually still pretty good. See the roll it to plus six. Hopefully it doesn't go into the flat ones. Gives me another nine roll on resist. Okay, it was a it was a six roll, which is the lowest, but it's still a roll in resist, so it's it's actually pretty good. It has fifteen percent resist now, so that's actually quite quite awesome. Um, I'll just keep that, lock it. This one is a intuition. Um, I'm, I'll go through all the gems until I get to here, and then that's that's kind of where where I stop. Um, because these are all, all the gems I didn't really try before. Some some of them I tried out, and you know sometimes they work well, sometimes they don't. This is a defense um, intuition gem. I will only keep this if the plus six goes into one of the crit rate or resist rolls, because it's pretty much either going to be used on a monster where I need to have one defensive gem and a hundred percent crit, or I might use this on an aggressor. Um, so we'll see. But if it gives me one of these on the plus six, then I, I give up. Come on. Give me that give me that crit. Okay, it was a it was a very low roll on resist. It was a plus six roll. Um we're gonna take this to plus twelve. Or not plus twelve, plus nine. And we'll see if the if one of the rolls roll into here again. If it does, I'll keep it. If it doesn't, then I might actually just sell. Because it is an intuition gem. Alright, it had, it had a very low roll in crit, but it it is better than it rolling to the flat one, so... Not the most ideal situation, but still still pretty decent. Um, this is a life set HP, and... It has resist and crit rate, and also has attack now. This actually is a gem that has some potential to become a top tier gem. I just need it to all roll into resist now, and we win. Please no flat attack, please no flat attack. Come on. Okay, when, when the crit... Um, not the best actually because it is a life set. The crit is more more of a bonus. It's just the highest, easiest way to get your um, like tanky monsters a little bit extra damage if you want to use them in PvP. Having them crit sometimes can just like up your damage and spike the opponent, and they might like die from that possibly. Just creates another RNG factor that they might have to deal with. It's a very low chance that it will actually be useful, but you know, if it does, if it just that happens to crit that one time, um, it might actually just push, like, put someone over the edge and just kill them, one of their dark, dark attackers or something like that. Not a good gem. It's unfortunate. This one's another conviction defense gem. Has nine percent resist. Um, we'll roll, see if it gives me a flat substat. If it does, I'll take it to plus six and see if it gives me a good substat. Or see if it rolls into resist. If it doesn't, then I sell. If it um, gives me a decent substat, that's a bad substat. That that doesn't really help on a conviction gen. So I'm going to take it to plus six. If it, I'll only keep it if it rolls into resist. If it does not, then it, it has to be sold. Nope. All right, we're working our way down. So when I got to plus three, I was gonna sell it, then it spawned resist, and it's a crit rate with an attack substat. It actually, is decent. This is this is a nice substat. This is a nice gem. Would have been nicer if this was crit damage, but um, basically for crit rate crit rate ruin gems you want as much attack as possible this is the highest roll attack and also has two decent substats so hopefully all of it goes into attack and um, this will be an excellent gem oh nice there we go 
That was a plus 7 roll, which is only 0.5 lower than the highest roll. This could possibly be a replacement for one of my uh, key monsters and dragons. Went into the resist, which actually isn't too bad. It's it's still pretty decent. This is a gem I would take to plus 12, and hopefully it goes into attack one more time, giving me like over 20% attack. Um, I just need to roll at least 6.5. That'll give me like 20%, which is... Better than 20% crit damage, which means I'll probably put this on a, uh, like maybe my Dark Atito, which is one of my more important monsters. See, th this gem is a, is a possible replacement. Come on. Went to the defense. Still a good gem. Still, still a decent gem. This one um, is a Valor gem that has attack. Honestly, um, resist on these might not matter that much. I'm trying to get get a high crit so I can use a Valor set on one of my attackers. It's not as good as using a Ruin set, but uh, Valor gives plus attack. Ruin Ruin gives like 40% crit damage. Oh, nice! It it rolled once into crit, so that's actually pretty good. Take a look at the plus six. Um, it's a 14. If I can get a 7% roll, then it actually is a pretty good one. It can give me 21.5% crit, which I can pair up with another gem that has two rolls. Um, basically, you need 26% or 36% crit. So if I can get another gem that has at least a 14.5% crit, um, roll on it, then I can get a hundred percent crit on a on this set. It rolled into the flat HP, which is making me consider selling it. But we'll take it to the plus nine. Actually, it does have a fourteen point five. I actually might keep this. It has some sort of use in the future, some potential use in the future. But hopefully, it gives me one more crit. Went to the recovery. I'll I'll keep this for now. We'll see what happens. I might get another Valor gem that has a 21.5% roll that I can push 100% crit. Um, this one is a Conviction gem. It's an attack one with resist and defense. Pretty much I want this to give me HP um, or crit rate. But if it gives me a flat substat, I actually might sell this because it's not that useful. Nope. Okay, we only have like five more gems to go, um, six more. This is another attack one with crit rate. It's the same as this one, and we're hoping that it gives me a shit ton of crit. That's that's really all I need. I just need a lot of crit, and we win. Ooh, resist. It's actually pretty good. Although crit damage probably would have been better, but still a useful substat. Come on, crit. Give me that crit. Okay, okay, there we go. That's that's what I'm talking about. Uh, it was a low roll. It was a very low roll. It was a 6% roll. Um, or was it a 7% roll? can't remember. No, it was a 6% roll. It was the lowest roll. But if we can get a 7.5 roll, right now I can still get 21% crit. Which I can pair up with another um, Valor gem that has 50, has two perfect rolls into crit rate and still push 100% crit on Valor, which will be pretty good. So we're hoping that it rolls one more time into crit and it's the highest roll possible. Which would be very difficult. I think this gem's kind of ruined. It's not that good. Keep it for now. This one is a um, crit rate resist gem. It has also has crit damage, so I thought it was pretty pretty decent. Um, but I don't. I already have a lot of crit rate. 
gems, and I'm hoping for like HP percent or defense percent. If it gives me a flat, I'm probably just selling. This one, yeah, this one's a in conviction um, defense gem with with resist. For these, I'll probably like it's you just throw them on aggressors and, and tanks and stuff. Um, basically, you just want as much resist as possible. If the plus six doesn't give me resist, I'm kind of giving up on it. It doesn't. I have too many of these too. To be bothered. Okay, nice. There we go. That's the plus fifteen. I'll probably keep this at this point. Um, this, is, this is a life HP gem, so you can stack your HP really high with this. Um, it has resist and attack and crit damage. I'm hoping for a either a crit rate or a defense percent. Hopefully, defense percent. Defense percent would be ideal. And then I want everything else to roll into resist, if possible. It was a recovery. Plus six doesn't give me resist. I might, I might give up on it because the crit damage isn't really useful on this set either. And if I'm using this on aggressor, the attack could potentially be completely useless as well. So, oh man, it was, it was like the two lowest rolls into resist. It's two, two six rolls. That was kind of bad. Oh man, I, I kind of already want to sell this. A lot of people say if the if the original roll was low, then the other rolls on top of it usually is low. I don't know if that's true. I usually just try them out anyways and hope for a, a, a max plus 9 roll. But then again, it never happens. So I'm starting to see some truth in what they're saying. I mean, you, you might look at that and see and say it's a life gem with HP, like, and it has already has twelve percent resist. It's a good gem. Yeah, it's a good gem, but I could also just use a conviction gem. I mean, I mean, I might not have as high HP, but I'll have like near max resist or max resist using the conviction set. Um, this one's a defense protection, which means you can stack defense pretty high. It has another plus six roll. I'm feeling deja vu right now. It's like it's like the same same exact thing is about to happen. It's gonna give me another roll into resist. It's gonna be plus six. I'm gonna end up selling this gem. Okay, this is a, this is already a sell. Like it's it has three flat substats. It's already really really bad. All right, last gem of the day. This is another attack one. Um, ruin with crit rate. So you guys know what I'm hoping for as much crit as possible come on give me that give me that crit oh, it would have been nice if that was crit damage instead but it's alright it doesn't matter as long as it rolls into crit it doesn't matter what the other three substats are because it is a ruin gem give me that crit give me that all right, please. Plus six, crit. Nope. All right. Uh, all right. We're going to go to plus nine. See if it gives me crit. If it does not give me crit at plus nine, I'm, I'm giving up on it. Made me unleash my Bankai. Made me click the times ten. All right. Last, last gem of the day. Let's see what this, this one gives me. Moment of truth. I think the moment you t you click try times ten, it already gives you the data. Like all the data kind of goes through, so you already know what you're gonna roll. Oh my god, what is this bullshit? All right, it's gone. Why does this exist? I don't. I don't. Under I don't remember. All right, actually, this 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 might be a sell. I just happened to come across this one. It's, it was upgraded times three and it gave me the resist, so I kept it. 
but now now that I look at it it's a uh, well actually it has defense and resist and it's an HP gem so actually it, it has a lot of potential still but if the plus six goes into recovery or some shit yeah no okay so that's pretty much it um, I went through quite a few gems today I found this one is my pretty much my only good one today um, everything else is kind of it's okay but it's not too good this is basically the the only good roll I got today um, all right you know what you know what we're gonna take it to plus 12 see its max potential it might roll one more time into crit it still has that potential but even if it doesn't it's the, it's already good it's already an excellent gem It was perfect. Roll into crit and crit damage and it's an attack gem. As much uh, damage as possible. Come on, you can do it. Oh, I went to the recovery rip. Um, but it's still a good gem. It's still a very good gem. Anyways, that's pretty much it for today. Um, I wanted to show you guys like my upgrading process. I haven't done that in a while. I usually do that on video as well. So I do that when I show my like progression video and stuff. But anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.